Let us learn the fourth corvée of the Mohanam Tilana. This corvée is a very short, very crisp one and it has a very nice twist to it. Let's see what it is. It is not in a very predictable or symmetric pattern. It is, uh, it goes like this. Takka, takkitta, takkitta, takka, dimmi, takkitta. Right? So, when you're doing takka, takkitta, takkitta, straight forward. Now, this takka, dimmi, in the original version, it is takka, dimmi, you keep it, you keep, you keep your eyes the same place. Takkitta, alone you move. But if you want to think about it in different in a different aesthetic, you can also think about takka, takkitta, takkitta, takka, dimmi, takkitta. Depending on your aesthetic, you can decide if you want to use up the takka, dimmi to come here and do takkitta, or do you want to stay there and do the takkitta. After that, you have takka, dimmi, takka, takkitta, a nine. So, Five, three, seven, and nine. So as you see, you can see all the odd numbered jatis, but in different, not exactly in the, you know, the ascending or descending format. So till here is one avartana, I mean one song cycle. Then. You have to remember that takka dimmi takka takkitta has a pause there because you're doing eight and leaving one. So you really need to emphasize that pause before you start. Ta te te ta de te te ta ta te te ta de te te ta. This is the third nat the third ta te te ta third paravaladava, but we are not doing the the leg like how we do it in the first and second speed because it's in the male column or the third speed. So when you do this adava, it's important to think of the dola going all the way up, then becoming a patakam, lean, not bend too much, but lean, take it all the way up, bring it all the way here, then drop the dola. So you see, from here you make it a patakam only above, but when you come here, all the way here, and then lower it, lower it to a dola only at the chest level, right? Okay. So this one is ta te te ta dit te te ta ta te te ta dit te te ta. Now te ya te yi te ya te yi forms an other song cycle. Right? Now if you, if you look at the next one, you have the same teya tei but in a very different kanaka. Usually we have teya tei, teya tei, which is straightforward. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now imagine if I'm going to fill the same space, not with four counts, but with eight counts. One, two, three, four, takka dimmi, takka dimmi, takka dimmi. Taka dimi, taka dimi. So what am I doing? In the same place, I have eight counts. Now, Lakshman sir has introduced a lovely twist here. He doesn't use the eight taka dimi, taka dimi. He uses, uses it as taka takita, takita, taka takita, takita, taka takita, takita, three times. So taka takita, takita, taka takita, takita, taka takita, takita. So te did ta te did. Yeah? It's a very lovely twist there. So it is still four, but you're filling four with an eight and you're splitting that eight into two, three, and three. Very, very interesting part. So, so the after the teya tei second, you are having So you need to put tei, you're Pulling from the opposite side, dit goes directly into a, a, a lift and ta. So you don't have a placement at all. 
That is your little twist there. Te dit ta, I mean, te dit ta, te dit ta, te dit ta. Once you finish that, you go to the tirmanam. Tirmanam is very straightforward. Did the did the did the te, did the te, which is takitta, 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 takitta. Same thing three times without gaps. Immediately did the te, did the te, did the te. Third time alone, what you are doing is That is your last. So it's a very sprightly, lovely courbe with a small twist in the middle. Practice.